When you turn on Netflix's new teen romance, Heartstopper, you'll notice a lot of innocent teenage bliss throughout the 8 episode first season. The adaptation of Alice Oseman's graphic novels is about 4 hours of young love set inside a world that feels like a dream to many in the LGBTQ community. Protagonists Nick Nelson, Kit Connor, and Charlie Spring, Joe Locke, are the definition of opposites attract. Nick is the star of the school rugby team. He is girls who fawn over him in a calm demeanor that seems to far outmatch his crew jock teammates. Charlie is the school's resident gay nerd. Lonely, quiet, and soft-spoken, it would seem that he wouldn't have a chance with someone like Nick. Because fiction often lets us realize the unimaginable, we get to see these two precarious lovebirds fall completely over themselves every time they spend another second in each other's company. Like most queer rom-coms, the series makes sure to dissect the dichotomy between its stars differing comfort levels with their sexualities. Nick has never really thought that he was anything but straight until Charlie enters his life. The latter has been out of the closet for some time, or at least it's insinuated, and therefore has already overcome many of the feelings of confusion that his boyfriend is having. Charlie's identity issues are more around low self-esteem, not wondering whether he likes the same sex. It's in this contrast that we get to see the main tension of the overly optimistic program. Charlie is the perpetual victim of bullying. Before meeting Nick, he is continually forced to accept belligerent treatment from secret boyfriend and hope, Sebastian Croft. After Charlie joins the rugby team to get closer to Nick, his teammates spare no time before they start laying on the homophobic insults. The leader of the bunch is Harry Green, Cormac Hyde Karn, who becomes essentially the main antagonist of the show. Charlie is used to being the punching bag, Newcomer Locke portrays the character with a melancholy gaze in his eye, a young man who has accepted that he is lesser than the rest of society simply for being attracted to boys.